Hello everyone, good afternoon. This is Dr. Sandeep Chetra, consultant physician from Manning Hospital and Ravi Neuro Center, Vijayawada. Today we would like to discuss regarding the hypertension. Hypertension is one of the leading cause of death in present day world. It is one of the most leading cause of death with related to non-communicable diseases. In hypertension, there are causes which can be modifiable and non-modifiable. If we can modify the things or the triggering or risk factors that can bring a lot of difference in bringing down death or mortality or morbidity with regard to hypertension. Especially hypertension nowadays due to modern era, due to lifestyle habits and also due to growing Western civilization and lifestyle, many young individuals are prone for hypertension and we are seeing due to that deleterious effects on heart and brain, um, both on cardiovascular and uh, neurological system, which results in sudden MI, myocardial infarction and sudden stroke, that may be ischemic stroke or hemorrhagic stroke, leading to morbidity in the patient. When it comes to hypertension, what are the modifiable things we can do in a particular individual so that we are less prone for complications in hypertension? For example, lifestyle habits. I mean, a very good lifestyle habit, such as avoiding sedentary lifestyle and having a good lifestyle with minimal exercise during the day or during the week or having healthy lifestyle habits like eating fresh vegetables and decreasing salt intake. We as Southeast Asian countries, especially South India or in India, we are more prone for eating preservated food and salted food. If we reduce the salt intake, indirectly the hypertension will reduce and indirectly mortality and morbidity will be reduced. And other habits such as lack of sleeplessness, sedentary lifestyle, and also smoking and alcoholism. All these things can be modified by particular individual itself so that you don't have its deleterious effects on particular person. When compared, when these are the modifiable things, when compared to other non medical things, if the family is to run in the family, hypertension can run in the family or the person may have chronic kidney disease or renal artery stenosis. Those things can be dealt and diagnosed and treated accordingly with the early approach. Mainly symptoms like reading sensation. The symptoms in hypertension are also very vague and a patient will come with a slight dizziness, headache or lightheadedness. So when patients uh, realize or encounter such symptoms, he should go to a qualified doctor and check his uh, BP reporting regularly so that we can identify the cause. If it is a modifiable thing, we can change according to lifestyle habits, reducing salt intake and reducing less alcohol consumption and reducing or quitting smoking. Apart from that, all the other causes, either may be hereditary or the systemic diseases or any disorder that we, uh, whether it is renal disorders leading to hypertension, if we are able to treat or control those things, we can reduce mortality and morbidity with related to hypertension. Particularly, hypertension, which mainly impacts heart, kidney, and brain. Due to the increased pressure, the heart tries to contract more. Its LV dysfunction will be modified and finally leads to LV dysfunction, which indirectly leads to less blood supply to the myocardium, which leads to myocardial infarct. And also with relax to kidney, if the pressure increases, the peripheral renin angiotensin mechanism and all the mechanisms with related to kidney 
will be out of its control so that it leads to chronic kidney disease and suddenly bp will shoot up and it leads to brain ischemic stroke and hemorrhagic stroke and also leads to myocardial infarct with related to cns also in a chronic hypertensive patients they suddenly lead to ischemic stroke and also hemorrhagic stroke so when you are diagnosed with hypertension we should regularly follow up we should go to the hospital or consult the doctor and thoroughly follow what the doctor says apart from pharmacological medication we should follow certain lifestyle habits and we should not skip the hypertension medication mostly in our society is the patient thinks that one or the other day if his bp is on the lower side while using medication the patient automatically thinks that he is non hypertensive and he stops the medication and that particular time more often we see in that cases patient bp will shoot up due to rebound mechanism due to lack of using medication the bp suddenly shoots up and leads to stroke mi and renal failure so it is that every individual should first diagnose i mean you have any real sensation like headedness the symptoms suggest to of hypertension you should go and check your bp especially we are recently seeing many young individuals are dying due to mi and stroke due to thinking that it is a very mild symptoms but above part per year everyone should check and follow up to the doctor every at least monthly and everyone should check their bp at least weekly once at their home self monitoring of bp is a very good thing so that you can assess by yourself and take necessary measures if you are turned to be hypertensive you can take the medication if the bp is on borderline it is 130 to 140 of systole you can have by having certain measures like changing the lifestyle habits and avoiding sedentary lifestyle quitting smoking and alcoholism and uh, less intake of uh, preserved or salted food or decreasing intake of uh, pickled and other preservative foods which are the main most and most common causes resulting in hypertension in young individuals due to their lifestyle habits they turn to metabolic syndrome and obesity and uh, diabetes hypertension which run in hand in hand and finally if they are uncontrolled they are in a state uh, they finally land in myocardial infarction and uh, hemorrhagic stroke and and we lose the patient and he has to be in a state of disability for his life long with regard to drug of hypertension based on the particular age we can advise him or her to follow the current drug and never skip the drug in hypertension and with regard to diagnosing also we should be very careful whenever you are termed to be hypertensive you should regularly follow up and check and you should minimum you should have renal function test done at regular interval and also regular cardiac evaluation should be done so that to see how your cardiac status with regard to hypertension and other things is mainly diet especially diet which is rich in potassium which rich in green leafy vegetables which is less of salt content food or preservative food that will definitely help you to fight against hypertension and you have a very healthy lifestyle even though you are down to be hypertensive or non hypertensive if you have follow certain lifestyle habits definitely you will lead a very happy and healthy life with regard to the patients which are non modifiable especially for the patients in whom hereditary hypertension puts 
in families we will see hypertension and ckd chronic kidney disease patients or any renal artery stenosis pheochromocytoma or idiopathic hypertension we should evaluate the root cause of the hypertension and we should go to we should consult the doctor and treat and follow their advice accordingly so that the root cause of the hypertension is removed so that we don't have deleterious effects which it, it can reduce the mortality and morbidity with relate to hypertension because nowadays in world we are seeing a lot of young deaths people who are 35 to 40 years having myocardial infarction strokes stroke in all due to only due to this lifestyle habit which resulting in metabolic syndrome that resulting in hypertension and diabetes running hand in hand and finally causing stroke in it. so have a very good lifestyle and a very good healthy habit and a good and balanced diet so that we can lead a very healthy life thank you thank you one and all for your time listening